Hi, everyone. We're doing the National Institutes of Standards and Technology Boulder Laboratories. Uh, my name is Rithik Basu. I'm Jordan Diamond. Kenny Henniger. Catherine Mays. Stuart. The NIST Boulder Laboratories has been a world leader in physical sciences and precision measurement for more than 60 years. Building One, also known as Central Radio Propagation Laboratory, was constructed and dedicated on September 14, 1954 by President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Since then, the lab has grown and is responsible for groundbreaking research, which has led to major scientific developments. These developments provide the support businesses need to be able to invent, innovate, and produce high quality products for electronics, communications, optics, nanotechnology, public safety, biosciences, forensics, defense, and environmental applications. A part of the U.S. Department of Commerce National Institute of Standards and Technology and contracted as an FFRDC, NIST Boulder has an annual research and measurement budget of about $100 million. The lab is located near the University of Colorado Boulder and collaborates with industrial, academic, and government laboratories throughout the nation and the world. And IST and CU Boulder jointly operate JILA, a world leader in atomic, molecular, and optical physics and precision measurement. Next slide. Well, cool, thanks. The National Institute of Standards and Technology houses a variety of science infrastructure. They manage five laboratories with a focus on engineering, communications technology, information technology, material measurement, and physical measurement. The primary role of these labs is to promote innovation and industrial competitiveness to enhance economic security and improve quality of life. The NIST also supports collaboration with industry, academia, and other government agencies through two additional facilities, the Center for Neutron Research and the Center for Nanoscale Science and Technology. They serve an important role in technology development through programs that foster partnerships with the community and advance federal missions. In addition to on-site resources, the NIST provides various tools and instruments in research related to alternative energy, cell biology, semiconductors, and environmental health. The standards and measurements that come from NIST research are used uh, in a lot of our everyday activities. Um, a partnership with the American Dental Association in 1928 led to x-rays and composite fillings. The Emissions Trading Initiative and the EPA's Clean Air Act of 1990 was developed at the NIST. And something I found most interesting was the invention of closed captioning for people with impaired hearing, which earned the NIST an Emmy Award in 1980. Slide. Since 1976, NIST has over a thousand government interest in patents that have been issued, but we're only gonna take a close look at three of them. The first of these is a patent on the electrolytes for rechargeable batteries, which was filed in 2015. The patent focuses on rechargeable lithium ion batteries that have high capacity active metals, which is typical in those standard rechargeable batteries. NIST was able to find a process in which electrochemical cells with silicone based electrodes had an improved life cycle when pyrocarbonate containing electrolytes were used. The next patent looks at nitric acid regeneration fuel cell systems, which was filed in 2004. While it's tough to give a simple explanation of the process, in general, the fuel cell system is comprised or composed of an anode, a cathode, an analyte flow stream, and a catholyte flow stream. The patent is for a system where nitric acid is the catholyte flow stream is regenerated by the analyte hydrogen peroxide flow stream. The last of these patents is one for optically enhanced image sequencing filed in 2006. This pen is for our high resolution imaging system that improves the normal camera's ability to enhance an image. The system is able to take more accurate images of things that may be very small or very far away. Things that may need to be very precise in detail and is even able to produce 3D imaging through software. So the scientific paper um, that, I choose to, that I chose to use was for the patent on the optically enhanced images which as was just mentioned, enhances um, lower quality photos or can take really precise pictures. And the first citation they had, which was the analysis for superimposing projected images, uh, that paper did not have any acknowledgements for the funding. So I looked at the second um, citation and it was for the super resolution image reconstruction 
uh, technical overview. And in the acknowledgements there, it mentioned that it was funded by the Korea Science and Engineering Foundation. And that was through the Biometrics Engineering Research Center at, at Yonsei University, which was also um, the same university that the lead researcher earned his bachelor's of science and master's degrees in. Uh, there are 11 spin-off companies in the Colorado Front Range area with a partnership with JILA and with Miss Boulder. Uh, they market products ranging from helium uh, neon lasers, gravity meters to ultra low cryostat chambers. Um, for example, uh, we can take a look at Micro G Lacoste. This was founded in 1993. Uh, it started with Lacoste introducing the first worldwide range gravity meter, which was later stabilized and called the S meter. Uh, with, after their partnership with NIST, working with Dr. Niebauer, they were able to create a portable accurate gravity meter called the A10. This is like their flagship product. Uh, after this, many more products became apparent. Uh, they use this technology developed at JILA and Ms. Fuller to commercialize geoscientific instruments such as land and airborne gravity meters. So like on the top, the tag seven, that's the airborne gravity meter and then the A10, that's your uh, portable land meter. Uh, they can market these tools for surveying tectonic plate movement, geode studies, uh, aircraft uh, gravity studies. Uh, they also sell software and uh, other kind of useful uh, technology that you can get results using their products. Um, from patents to commercialization, we hope that we have done a good job uh, showing what NIST Boulder does, uh, giving them a very brief introduction. Uh, thanks for your time.